What's up, everybody? I am Ghost Boy Colby, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I have a pizza in the oven right now. So, I have a timer set on my phone, and once it goes off, I'm gonna have to go get that pizza. And, um, you know, uh, what that means for you is that I'll just pause the video, and I'll let you know when I do it. It won't be too long from now, but uh, I'm I'm playing a game that I've been meaning to get into for a really long time, and that's Skyrim. Um, Skyrim overwhelmed me when I first tried it, I won't lie. My experience with video games, I would say, wasn't quite what it is now. I wouldn't necessarily call myself an expert at this point, but I am much more familiar with a bunch of different games as opposed to what I was before. And so, because of that, uh, I've been thinking that if I were to do any game for a series, it would be this. Uh, I actually picked this up today. I, I'll be honest with you, I tried to play my Xbox 360 version on my Xbox One, but it's not backwards compatible, and obviously they did that so that you would go get the Xbox version. Which, smart move, you know, it's just a little frustrating on my end. But I can't hold it against them because it's just smart business sense. And, uh, yeah, so I, I don't really know what else to say, huh, to start. So I guess I'm just going to get into it. Um, I don't know how much I'll focus on the story because I've heard so many stories of people having complete separate lives in Skyrim, like legitimately. And not even an exaggeration or anything, and they don't even touch the main story. So, I don't know. Uh, I expect this to go on for quite a while. I, I expect this to be one of those, like, regular series that go on between my other series. Like, uh, as I move from one series to the next of the game I'm focusing on, this game will still be going. So, like, after I beat Bioshock, I still expect this game to keep going. After I beat Bioshock 2, uh, whatever I do after Bioshock 2, possibly Bioshock Infinite, or, or well, maybe the DLC, I'm not sure. I do love the Bioshock 2 DLC, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. And uh, I, I just need to start the damn game and quit flapping my lips, don't I? Start a new game. Uh, I'm pretty excited, but I'm also pretty, let's see, and the scrolls have foretold of black wings in the cold, that when brothers wage war have come unfurled, Alduin, Bane of Kings, Ancient Shadow Unbound, uh, I didn't read the last part, out of this time also rose one of the most legendary of all Tamrielic figures. Oop. Ah, the most iconic scene. It's coming up. I've seen the intro, so. But beyond that, I'm mostly going into this blind. That sound design is really good. Not quite as good as the music, I'd say, though. The music's a little better than the sound design. I don't think I turned subtitles on. So we are prisoners. Hey, you. Finally awake. Hold on. I... Sorry. I hate to kill the pacing, the mood, or whatever, but... I gotta turn on subtitles. Uh, dialogue subtitles and general subtitles. And we're good. You are trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you. Been stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all 
our brothers and sisters in minds now. Shut up back there. What's, what's wrong with him? Huh? Watch it down. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? Jarl Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they capture you, the gods, where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this, this can't be happening. This is Sovereign Guard. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be a home. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Music is great. Akatosh, the vines, please help me. <sighs> Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Thalmor are with him. Damn elves. But they had something to do with this. Sweet on a curl from here. Wonder if Elon is still making that mead with juniper berries. Funny. When I was a boy, the imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so Here we go. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. I mean, I guess, but also, don't the gods have all the time in the freaking world, literally? Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windham. That's you, buddy. An honor, Jarl Ulfric. Bailoff of Riverwood. And that's you. No, no care of Rorik's death. No, no, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me. Archers. That's what you think. Oh, I saw that coming. No, I'm good. You <laughs> step forward. Do I have to? I guess so. Who are you? Oh, uh, looks like we're deciding that. Let's see. Okay, so there's... Uh... Argonian. Interesting. <laughs> Lizard people. Well, if I want to do an Illuminati run, I guess I'll pick that. Uh, Breton. In addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of high rocks, Bretons, uh, can boost a resistance to magic. Or boast a resistance to magic, sorry. The Bretons can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. Okay. Um, I'll be honest. When it comes to, uh... For example, if I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons, I really like to play as some kind of elf. So I'm thinking I might go for that in this. It's just what I'm somewhat familiar with. So uh, I'll still look through and see what these other ones. Uh, Red Guard. Let's see. The most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel, the Red Guards of Hammerfell, have a hearty constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They can call upon an adrenaline rush in combat. Cool, cool. Orc. See, I don't normally go for the bulkier, uh, I guess, tanky 
characters in RPGs in general. So, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll go for one in this one, but I also don't just want to be a human type character. Uh, so I'm thinking elf is really the way to go for me at least. Uh, but that leaves the question of Wood Elf, High Elf, or Dark Elf. So, the clan folk of the western Valenwood forests, also known as Bosmer. Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. They have natural resistances to both poisons and diseases. They can command animals to fight for them. Cool, cool known as Altmer in their homeland of Somerset Isle, the High Elves are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their highborn power to regenerate magicka quickly. And then the Dark Elves, also known as Dunmer in their home homeland of Mar Morrowind. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. Morrowind? Morrowind? Uh, dark elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. I'm thinking I will go with a high elf. Uh, because I actually am interested in getting pretty familiar with the magic system in this game and you know, I guess it seems a little cheap to go for the character that's the absolute best at magic in the game, at least according to this description. But, uh, you know what? That's, that's what I'm picking. And, uh, let's see. So, uh, oh, okay. I have to press the triggers to move on to the next one. And then I'm going to leave my character male. Um, presets, skin tone. Um, I'm thinking, I don't really know. Uh, I'm not sh entirely sure it matters. I, I think I'll go with like a grimier sort of look. It look gives them sort of like a, a corpse <laughs> feel. I don't know. And then weight. Yeah, I'm not really sure that matters either. I mean, I'm a pretty pretty skinny dude, so I guess I'll leave my character pretty skinny. I don't know if that has an effect on my, my uh, strength or whatever. You know, you never know with RPGs. Complexion. Let's see. I like that. And dirt. Dirt color, scars, uh... I don't know, I might leave a couple scratches under the eye. Why not? I think it looks cool. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Cool, cool. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. Dang. Let's go with that war paint color. I think I kind of like... Hmm, I don't know. A lot of different colors to choose from. Let's see. I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning towards white, I think. Face, nose type. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go with that. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave the rest of that the way it is. Jaw width. Jaw height. Uh, jaw forward, I don't know. Cheekbones. A little lower, I guess, or is that going higher? Oh, that's higher, that's lower. Cheekbone width. Let's pull it in a little bit. Uh, 
Is that what I'm going for? Or... Yeah, let, let's let's reel it in. Cheek color, uh, laugh lines, cheek color lower, nose color, chin color. Duh, okay. Eyes, eye shape. Uh, I don't know. Let's go with that. Whoa. Oh, so I guess for each color, there's a version where it has like a dead eye, basically. So I could have him with two dead eyes, or I could have him <laughs> with some black bug demon eyes. And uh, my pizza's done, so I'll be back. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, the pizza finished and I ate some uh, but that's gonna be cut out of the video I don't know how long it's gonna take uh, I haven't cut out footage from the middle of the video as of yet I've only trimmed down the very end and beginning of my videos so far so I don't necessarily know how to remove a part from the meat of the video but I'll figure it out so you don't have to just watch me eat. <laughs> um, and then while I was eating, I was uh, finishing up my character. And, you know, honestly, I, I would say this is pretty accurate in terms of what I might look like as a, you know, as an adult high elf in Skyrim. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, if any representation of me in that form had to exist it might as well be this so yeah i'm pretty pretty uh comfortable with this let's, let's say done finish and name your character uh i'm gonna name him lazarin but nobody's gonna call him that <laughs> You are not with the Thalmor Embassy, are you, High Elf? No, that can't be right. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure he remains a return to the Somerset Isle. Follow the Captain, prisoner. I mean, why do I have to have remains, though? Can I just, like... Not die. <laughs> no, I guess that's not an option. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. <laughs> He's like, just kill me already. Come on, I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Ah. Oh. R.I.P. You Imperial bastards! Who said that? Death to the storm folks. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next Apparently. No, why me? What did I do? Take him, take Roloff, or whatever his name is. I said next prisoner. No. Prisoner. Nice and easy. No. I don't wanna. Look, man, I just started the game. Don't kill me already. At least give me a little bit. What? No. No, don't make me. Please? It's a what dragon. I can't move. Ah! 
What's going on? Alright, I'm following you. Uh what is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. So what, do I go upstairs? Now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Oh Jesus. How did I just survive? <laughs> I just got blasted. Uh, uh. Find General Tolias and join the defense. God's I don't have to do anything, do I? Well, I guess so. If he's going, I guess I have to too. Holy crap! Quickly, follow me. All right, all right. You don't have to tell me twice. Look, man, I'm simply following you, and that's it. Okay. Wait, wait, where do I go? Do I have to make a choice? Uh, 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 oh. That's what I get for being indecisive, huh? I can cut you loose inside. Come on. <laughs> Look, man, I don't like having to make big choices like that this early on. What in the world? I don't even know these men. So to me, I don't necessarily have an emotional attachment to one more than the other. They're just strangers who are helping me live. We'll meet again in Solomgard, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Okay. There you go. You may as well take on your skier. He won't be needing it anymore. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, oh, does it automatically equip or what? Oh no. I'm, okay. I'm going to see if I can find some way out <laughs> of here. Uh, how do I equip stuff? This one's locked. Let's see about that gate. I don't know how to equip. Damn. No way to open this from outside. Oh, that's how you change the camera. How do I equip gear? Is it under like general stats or What do I do? Oh, I'm confused. I do not know how to put my stuff on. Combat. Uh, system. Quick save, save, load, mod, settings, controls. I don't know how to put Come stuff on. They cover. Get this gate open. 
I don't know. It it didn't tell me any button. Drink a potion or wait for it to recover. Okay. God damn. Look, I'd equip my stuff if I could. I have no idea how. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, I didn't know. It didn't tell me. <laughs> Look, man. Okay, I realized that was a noob moment, but I have not played this game. Okay, I've played it a little bit, but that's it. Okay, we're good. Alright, I want that sword. Uh... I definitely tend to prefer... Well... Yeah, they do the same damage and this is ever so slightly lighter. This value is 30, so I'll just sell it if, if they do the same damage. Don't mind if I do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Found the key. Let's see if it opens. Uh oh. Let's see what's the best. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what impact the weight stat has on me, but I mean I feel like if it has that much protection, it's worth it, right? It's best to just equip the the highest armor possible. Unless given a certain situation, I would figure. So yeah, now we got optimal armor. That's it. Come on, let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. It probably makes me like a little bit slower, I'm guessing. That would definitely make sense. That seems to be a pretty common theme in uh, games with uh, armor or, you know, weapons where they each have their own individual weight. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. Everything important? I don't see anything. I guess I'm just taking all your baskets. I guess I'll end up selling a bunch of this. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Was that me? Fuck yeah. See if you can find any potions. need them. I'm assuming I'll get the chance to sell this. Like, when I say I'm gonna sell this stuff, I don't know that for a fact. I'm just assuming. Because in RPGs like this, you know, it's a pretty common thing. Alright, maybe I shouldn't take every absolute thing in sight. Uh, potion of minor healing. There we go. Because I know, obviously, if there's a weight mechanic, I can only hold so much. I don't know if that depends on my, like, strength or what, but... Potion of Minor Healing. Magicka and Stamina. Oh, yeah. Alright, uh... It's in here. Nothing. Nothing. I guess I'll take another basket. Don't mind if I do. Large sack. Nothing. It's weird that it's so lumpy. If it's empty... I'm just saying. All right, I guess we're good. Done. Let's get moving. Yep. 
as far as I can tell, the other Imperial armor I picked up is the same as this. If it was just labeled Imperial armor. Who do I kill? Oh, these guys. <laughs> Execute. Aha. Uh -huh. um, Stormcloak soldier. So they were on our side. Didn't get here quick enough to save them. Uh, picks. Ooh, shield. Iron mace. I'm looking for lock picks, like you said. Or like some something to pick the lock with, not necessarily lock picks. Book of the Dragonborn. The Book of the Dragonborn by Prior uh Emmeline Um Madrine? Ma Madrine? Order of Talos. Went on prior Priory. Year three sixty of the third era. 21st of the reign of his majesty Pelagius the fourth Many people have heard the term dragonborn. We are of course ruled by the dragonborn emperors But the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood for those of us in the order of Talos This is a subject near and dear to our hearts and in this book I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as dragonborn down through the ages most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the Covenant of Akatosh, when the blessed Saint Alicia uh, was given the Amulet of Kings and the dragon fires in the Temple of the One were first lit. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Alicia with this blood of dragons and made a covenant uh, that so long as Alicia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to, to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies. Uh, the Daedra loving alien, uh, God, that voice crack sold separately, by the way. Alides, Alides, those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood became known more simply as Dragonborn. The connection with the rulers of the Empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the amulet of kings and light the dragon fires. All the legitimate rulers of uh, the Empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and empresses of the first Cyrodiilic Empire founded by Alicia remain Cyrodiil or wait, Rimon Cyrodiil and his heirs and of course Tiber Septim and his heirs down to our current emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim IV. Uh, because of this connection with the emperors, however, the other significance of the Dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the Blessed Talos, who, uh, who was Tiber uh, Septim. Very few realize that being Dragonborn is not simply a matter of heredity, uh, being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But they were dragonborn and thus able to do those things. Uh, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akatosh descending upon them. All that we can say is that it is both and neither a divine mystery. In other words, we don't freaking know. The line of septums have 
all been dragonborn, of course, which is one reason the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace, but we know for certain that the early Cy Cyrodiilic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that Rimon Cyrodiil was descended from Elysia, although there are many legends that would make it so, most of them dating from the time of Rimon and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the Blades, usually thought of the, as the Emperor's bodyguards, originated in Akaviri Crusaders, who invaded Tamriel for obscure reasons in the late First Era. They appear to have been searching for a dragonborn. The events at Pale Pass bear this out, and the Akaviri were the first to proclaim Ramon Cyrodiil as dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akaviri who did the most to promote... Sorry, I keep doing that by accident. His standing as emperor, although Ramon himself never took that title in his lifetime. And of course, there is no known hereditary connection between Tiber Septum and any of the previous Dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. Whether there can be more than one Dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The Emperors have done their best to dismiss this notion, but of course the Imperial Succession itself means that, at the very least, there are two or more potential Dragonborn at any time. The current ruler and his or her heirs. The history of the Blades also hints at this, although little is known of their activities during the uh, interregnum between Rahman's empire and the rise of Tiber Septim. Many believe that the Blades continued to search out and guard the, those they believed were or might be dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being dragonborn. The connection with dragons is so obvious that it has almost been forgotten. In these days, when dragons are a distant memory, we forget that in the early days, being dragonborn meant having the dragon blood. Some scholars believe that that, uh, that was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of dragonborn heroes who were great dragon slayers, able to steal the power of the dragons they killed. Indeed, it is well known that the Akaviri uh, sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion, and there is some evidence that this continued after they became Rahman Cyrodiil's dragon guard. Again, the connection to dragons, the direct predecessor to the blades of today. I leave you with what is known as the Prophecy of the Dragonborn. It is said to originate in an Elder Scroll, although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akaviri. Many have attempted to decipher it, and many have also believed that its omens had been fulfilled, and that the advent of the last Dragonborn was at hand. I make no claims as an interpreter of prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akatosh's gift to mortal kind has yet to be fully understood. When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding, the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. Okay, that was a lot of reading. <laughs> I'm not going to do that every time. I'm just telling you right now, because I only have so much voice. Uh, they said to, uh, what was it, this particular one? Okay, this is some gold. Use the left stick to rotate the lock pick, and then the right stick to rotate the lock. The closer the pick is to the correct position, the more the lock will rotate before the pick breaks. Only when it is in the correct position will the lock fully rotate and open. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to... Is 
that right? Uh oh. Ah, dang it. Okay, I have a few more. Uh, I'd figure it has to be that spot right there. There we go. All right, got some gold. Potion of Minor Magicka, a mage, more gold, Minor Magicka, novice hood and novice robes. Um, does, I'm assuming that helps with my magic, but I don't really know how to use any right now. Uh, hold on. So, apparel. Iron shield. I don't know if I want to hold it. Novice hood. The value is 305. Increases your magicka points by 30 points. But I don't know if I can even use magic yet. But the novice stuff is valued really high. So I'm going to hold on to that. Because it doesn't provide any armor. But hopefully if I'm wearing it and I'm using magic. I'm using it effectively enough to where I don't necessarily take a lot of hits. In theory. I don't know. Maybe for now I'll use a shield. Because it seems best to minimize damage. Alright, looks like we are ready to go. Uh, sorry, Roloff. I had to stop and read the text. Imperial dogs. There's nothing too low for them. Uh, makes sense. They seem like pretty... Pretty unenjoyable people. There's nothing in there. I'm waiting for you, Roloff. Are you waiting for me to lead you? Because I don't know where we're going. <laughs> One of those awkward moments where you're each waiting for the other to go. <laughs> Let's see. Search skeleton. I can't imagine what the hell a skeleton would have on him. Bone meal. I, is that useful? I don't know. Learning process, people. Listen, if you, if any of you are like Skyrim veterans that are watching me play, don't expect me to do super well. All right, because this is like the f the second time I've ever played this, and I'm not kidding. The first time I got maybe the first hour in, and then I stopped. And then I don't think I ever picked it back up. And for some reason... telling me to okay uh eh eh oh lever <laughs> I didn't see it I don't know if I could have pulled it anyways okay Let's get down here. Let's 
Look, man, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, 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 it collapsed. It's very sad. I'm trying to get a move on. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I come from Texas, and down here, people are in a hurry. Just for the sake of being in a hurry. They don't even necessarily have to particularly have a reason. They're just in a hurry. And they're... Go they're... <laughs> Guess we better try this way. Like, I don't know. Basically down here, people are pissed and they're mad about it. I guess he's waiting for me again. I don't know why he keeps stopping and waiting for me to lead. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 why? Look, man, ah! I don't, I have arachnophobia. So, ugh, this is not easy for me. <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. Ugh. Yeah, no. I hate spiders. I know some people like to have them as pets and whatnot. Not me. No. I mean, you'd have to shoot me in the arm or something first. Before you could convince me to keep a spider as a pet. I just, ugh. They look so disgusting. I don't care who you are. They look disgusting. Too many legs. Their faces are atrocious. The only spiders I can deal with are those cute little jumping spiders that flare up their back ends and do that little, like, peacock-esque mating dance. Well, not peacock-esque, but like, they, they call them peacock spiders. Those are the only ones I can deal with. That's a good idea. Look, man, I ain't towing it with no queen spider. Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's not. Uh oh. That's not what I thought it was. Okay, we're hidden. Okay, this isn't what I thought it was. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to... No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, so I just go around. I'm going around. I'm going around. I'm going around. Okay. No, don't start no shit with us. Don't start no shit with us. I'm not starting nothing with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I misunderstood. I figured we were in a cave full of spiders that... It made sense there would be some sort of queen spider that we'd have to sneak around, and I said screw a bunch of that. I don't want to tow it with a bear either, but I ain't towing it with no, you know, <laughs> mama spider. Wait. What for? What fur? Huh? There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Who? No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. Dragon? Or what? Is going to be swarming with Imperials I didn't enough. see. You better clear out of here. My sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwoods just up the road. I'm sure she... Okay. Uh... I'm gonna save here and leave the episode off. It's probably way, way too long. But I'll worry about that. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. And so, um, yeah. Overall, um, I'm liking the gameplay more than I remembered liking it before. For some reason, when I tried it before, Skyrim just did not click with me. And it's definitely one of those games that you have to play. Because I've tried to watch it on YouTube and never got that far every time. So, hopefully the resonance that it has with me now sticks around for the rest of the series because the last thing I want to do is be doing a series and then just lose all like enthusiasm for the game that I'm playing. 
uh, I don't want to leave y'all hanging like that. And, you, you know, you deserve to see somebody who's actually into the game. But, um, yeah, I, I like it so far. Uh, basically, uh, as far as I can tell, the story is we were imprisoned, we were about to get executed, then a dragon attacked, and we ran away. <laughs> That's about it, from what I remember. I mean, there might be a couple of details I'm forgetting, but I don't know. That seems like the important gist of it, at least. So, uh, yeah, um, depending on how well this video does, uh, I might have more incentive to make another episode uh, sooner than I had originally planned. But, um, yeah, right after this, I'm going to make the third episode of Bioshock. And both of these should, I say should, be up before midnight. Um, and then, you know, uh, hopefully I'll be asleep before midnight. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I'll figure out the editing so that you don't have to see me eat pizza in silence. But, um, yeah. And next time I'll time it so that I don't have to get up and, and stop in the middle of recording to go get some pizza. But, um, these are all things for me to worry about and not you. And then, uh, until then... Uh, really all I can say is peace. And then go to OBS and start.